let's have a look at our graph over here. Um, you can see that it is pretty plain. There isn't much color onto this graph. So here, this is in black. This is in black. We've got the axis here in black and the label for it in black. So ideally, what we want to do is we want to add some colors. And also, how do we add pick marks over here? So to make it a bit more interesting, this is quite a common task that you will probably need to do in machine learning. What you can do is here are the different elements you can do. So first of all, for the axis, what you can do is you can specify for the X axis. This is for the tick mark. So this is the tick per params function that we're using and GCA. So for the X axis, you can say we want them to be in red or the Y axis, you want them to be in blue. So what you can do is if you were to run this, then your axis would change color according to the setting over here. Now notice again the use of DCA. DCA is very popular. So as you can see here, we use DCA to uh, access the axis and set the major tick mark. So if we scroll down here, what we are doing is we are setting the tick mark, accessing the tick mark parameter and we are setting the color here. And what you can do is you can also change the add in using GCA again or X axis. Notice here the X axis that we access. So here we access to set the major locator. If we scroll down here, now what we are doing is set the minor locator over here. So this function again takes in a param parameter and we can see the arguments are pretty much the same multiple locator so if we go up here you can see we use multiple locator here and we separate said we want a gap of two which is what happened over here so you can see it left a gap of two between the major tick mark so if we go down here now and as you can see we set gap of 0.5 for the x axis and for the y axis we want a gap of one so this will give us a mark in between here so there should be a mark in here a mark in here six seven eight and nine over here so if we scroll down here you can also change the color of the tick marks notice here that I am using both. If you use both, what that means is it will change it for the minor and the major. Though what we mean by that is it will change the color of this tick mark over here and the value, and it will also change it for the minor one that goes in between these. So if we were to run this over here, so you can see you can actually specify that you want the minor to be in a different color, such as pink, for a specific axis. So if I were to run this code over here, you can see various things have gone on, which is it has changed the tick marks here to red or both for the x axis, but for the y axis, you can see the major tick marks are in blue, but the minor ones are in pink now it's very hard to see here so i'll zoom in over here and show you that that they are in fact in pink color over here versus blue over here while for the x-axis you can see you can see that the major ones and the minor ones are in red color over here and notice there are more tick marks here this is because in our code if you have a look at this bit over here we said every 0.5 we want a tick mark and that's exactly what has happened while here the tick mark is after every one unit so if we go down here though so we have a tick mark at position 16 which is the major and then 17 18 19 and 20 and then you can see the axis this label again we can we can change that to blue it has done it has done over here and you can see that we have changed this to blue over here so just by using the gca function you can modify a lot of things on your graph and you can do them individually different colors and so on and remember you can use pretty much same method as setting the major ticks and you can do the same for minor ticks over here it's very similar syntax and then using tick while parameters here you can actually change the colors for both major and minor or you can be very specific and say you only want minor